Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out another set of magnetic liner along with magnetic lashes. This one here is from Moxie Lash. A few videos back I did review the Ardell gel liner along with their magnetic lashes and in that video I did ask whether or not you all would want to see this one featuring a liquid magnetic eyeliner and a lot of you said yes and so I ordered this one from Moxie Lash. This is their starter kit. You get three false lashes, false magnetic lashes I should say, along with the liquid magnetic eyeliner and you also get some um, q-tips like cleaning q-tips that are infused with castor oil and olive oil I believe from what I read yes 50% castor oil and 50% olive oil and these are simply meant to um, remove the eyeliner from the eye. So the instructions for this kit are really, really simple. There's not a whole lot to it. You're just supposed to apply the magnetic eyeliner along your lash line, and then you're supposed to let it dry for a full two minutes. Like this has to be completely dry before you apply your magnetic eyelash on top of it. While you wait, they do recommend that this is when you can curl your lashes and apply your mascara. It seems really, really simple. As far as tips for removing your lashes, you're supposed to gently peel them off from the outer lash line going toward the inner, and then you can remove the magnetic eyeliner with the oil-based removers that it comes with. So really simple, really straightforward. It's not hard whatsoever. Now, the liner is water resistant. However, the lashes are not, so don't get them wet. All right, so let's begin with the liner. The tip on this is pretty fine. So we should get a really nice wing on the eye. Let me go ahead and get started with this one. See how smooth it actually applies? All right, let's start out here. That's pretty easy. All right, so there's one side done. I went a little bit thicker than what I intended, but that's okay, still looks good. I like the fact that you can take your time and this liner is like super easy to work with. Now, <laughs> there's that. So I'm gonna, I'll just wait for it to dry down and see if I can take it off the way that I would take off mascara because <laughs> that just touched my lid. Now I have it on, on my actual <laughs> lid. Now let me apply it onto this eye while I wait for this situation to dry. All right, so now that that is done, let me try to take this off. So this is how I would typically take like mascara off of the lid. If I ever get it on the lid, I just wait for it to dry and then I just go after it with um, my pencil brush and that seems to be working quite well. All right there. I was able to get it off Now I'm gonna be applying just a quick coat of my man-eater mascara here from Tarte Grabbing some of that All right, so while we wait for the mascara to dry and for the liner to completely dry Let's take a look at these lashes that are in this little kit. You have the sassy lashes I really like these, like for an everyday, these would be perfect. They would just add a little pop of length and just volume. These are the flashy lashes. So similar, but just more dramatic. And they seem wider, obviously, than these, which they definitely are. So these would be for like the whole eye and these more, more focused on like the outer um, portion of the eye. And these are the baddie lashes. I like these also. Now the one thing that someone brought up in the Ardell video that I was like blown by because I didn't even think about that is what if you have to resize these lashes? Like what would you do if you had to resize them? Because as you can see, you have magnets all throughout the band. This one has five, the Ardell ones had four. And if you do have to resize them, you would lose a part of the magnet because the magnets are placed right along the edges because obviously they want the lashes to stay 
to the eye. You don't want like lifted corners, you know, but if you do have to resize them, then that would be an issue. But in this case, I don't think that it would be a huge issue as long as you have options. For this particular brand, there does seem to be length options. Now, granted, if you choose the shorter length, you're not gonna get like the same volume that you would with this larger length, but at least you still have access to some of their lashes. So that's, that's a good option. I think that that's good. All right, so everything is dry now. Let me double check. It's pretty shiny when it's not, and it looks pretty matte once it's um, dried down. All right, they're dry. Let's start off with the sassy lashes, which are the smaller ones. Oh yeah. I like these. They blend into the eye really, really nicely. They are there. Like I'm lifting them and they're not just coming off. I can certainly see myself wearing these more often than not. They just, like I said, they add that little extra something, but without looking like too much on the eye. Very, very lightweight, very comfortable. I like these a lot. All right, and let's just take them off. So in order to take them off, you just have to tug a little bit more and then they'll come right off. So, and you know, if you tug normally, like they're not gonna come off, but if you tug just a little bit more, they'll come right off. All right, the next ones that I'm gonna try are the flashy ones. These ones have the longer band. I usually don't have to trim my uh, bands really. Like if I do, it's very, very little. So I think I'll be fine with these. Let's see. Okay, so the only issue that I see with these is that I didn't apply the liner all the way into the inner corner. And so the magnet here along the inner corner, it's like finding nowhere to, you know, attach itself to. So let me take these off really quickly and just add a little bit more because the next ones are just as long. So I think I'm gonna run into the same issue with the next ones. Let me add a little bit more and then that way um, we can apply these on. All right, so after applying a little bit more onto the inner corners there, I've waited for them to dry, the liner to dry, which it has. So now I'm gonna place these back on the eye and hopefully that'll take care of that issue that I was having with the uh, lifting. So let's go ahead and place them back on the eye. Oh yeah, that took care of it. Bam. That's like so easy. This is so easy. All right, so these are the flashy ones and they really are flashy. They're flashy. They kind of remind me of the um, Miami lashes from Lily Lashes. That's just kind of what they remind me of. All right. And the last ones are these baddie lashes. These are the fluffier, more dramatic ones of the three. The band on this one is certainly a little bit um, more on the stiff side, but let's see how they go on. All right, so there are the baddie ones. These are definitely the heavier ones out of the three and the most dramatic out of the three. I really like this. These are, would be perfect for a very like dramatic, glammed up look. Um, yeah. I'm pretty impressed. All right, so now before I try the Magnetic Eyeliner Remover Cotton Swabs, this is gonna be my last step, I'm gonna just give you all my overall thoughts on this whole kit. I love it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm very, very happy with my purchase. This is definitely something that I will continue to use over and over and over again. They are a little bit on the pricey side, so they are pricier than you know your Ardell lashes or your Ardell gel liner kit. However, I found the gel liner kit to be a waste of money because I will never use it again. It's not something that I would necessarily recommend to anyone because it is very difficult to work with. I will put in a card right here just in case you're interested in seeing that review, but it was very hard to work with. However, this one is the complete opposite the complete opposite of that. The liquid liner was very easy to work with. It was very easy to apply. The applicator was very nice and, you know, fine. So you were able to get that nice, sharp 
line at the end and you can also get like along the inner corner without it being too thick so you can actually um, you know determine the size of your liner whether you want it to be a thick line or if you want it to be a thin line like you can do either the lashes along with the magnetic liner are just they're good they're really really good you only have to apply the liner one time and you can place these lashes and take them off and place them back on and take them off like you can do that as many times as you want it seems because i did that for the three different lashes and then i took the last ones off and i placed these back on and the magnet is still holding strong like these are not going to just come off very easily unless you really truly tug to take them off. They're not going to come off easily at all. They're very, very light on the eyes and they're just they just add the little extra something. This kit is a lot more user friendly and especially for beginners. Like this would be so easy for me to have worked with back when I was first applying, when I was first learning how to apply lashes onto the eyes. This makes it completely foolproof and just completely like, it makes it super easy. So I really like it. I will continue to use it. Now let's try to remove it. Let's see, let's see what that's like. So I'm gonna take these off. I love the fact that they have the magnets here to align with the magnets along the band. And then that way they just like pop back into the case. Like, do you hear that? All right, so these are already pre-moistened. So they're individually wrapped and then you have to open them through here. There's a little line then you can just tear down and then the cotton swab gets taken out and I can go ahead and remove it. All right, so it did work in removing it, but obviously it's not gonna take all of it off. It did melt it away though. So it doesn't look like this anymore, but I don't feel like you necessarily need these. Like you really don't. I use the um, Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Remover. It's like a, it's a makeup removing like balm. Once you apply it onto the face, it really melts everything away. It would certainly take care of this and that's kind of that's what I would use either that or you can go in with you know castor oil or um, olive oil whatever this is infused with I don't feel like you necessarily need these you know like these aren't a necessity in order to remove the liner um, but yeah I mean it does remove it now this just looks like a smoked out wing line which is fine all right, so that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you all. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.